Well, nothing like that around here as our trick-or-treaters enjoyed a perfect night. KCL News meteorologist Marina Jurica back with your next weather forecast and really just a beautiful day here. It so is. Cal. It's so warm. Does not feel like the first of November. And I used to live in Minnesota, so I know how it is with those a very chilly uh, early snowfalls. But here we've got early summer, I guess you could say, in November. It is toasty. And after a very chilly start in Riverside, we're actually at 81 degrees now with lots of sunshine. So chilly nights, warm days, very dry conditions continue, but at least our winds have quieted down, and especially in the Inland Empire. That's important for those firefighters today. Now we are going to be looking at temperatures really moving up. Upper 70s is where we're supposed to be, but we're going to be in the low to mid 80s all across a good portion of our area. Right now we are at 87 in Camarillo, 81 in Simi Valley in downtown LA, 85 in Fullerton. We started out the morning at 43 in Laguna Beach. Now we're at 77, 81 in Riverside, as I mentioned, in Pasadena and 66 in Palmdale where there was a freeze warning. So we're doing a bit of whiplash with some very, very cold mornings, but then some very nice warm afternoons. But these winds are so much better, of course, in our passes. So 15, I-5, and where we're looking at canyons, we'll still see some gusty winds as we move into the day today. When you have to push wind, it's dynamics, into a very small amount of space, that's why canyons have usually a lot of that higher wind gusts. We're going to see that again today. But overall, the widespread wind has ended. And other than that localized gusty wind action, we are improving, which is great. Weekend cooling. And yes, the fog. We've seen such crystal clear mornings, but that's not going to be the case starting Friday. We'll still get one more tomorrow morning. But then by Friday, we're going to be looking at some much better weather. But high pressure dominates. It's very strong. And it's going to allow for that offshore flow, but not as windy, warm, and just very dry conditions continuing until low pressure comes here and kicks that high south as we move into the upcoming weekend. But our next weather future cast showing by Friday morning, 4.15, we are looking at a little bit of that fog starting to move into portions of Ventura and LA County as well as Orange County and then we'll see that again wrap in on Saturday. So fog is returning but the extended looks really really nice for those of you who like winter. You're going to have to wait until next week before we get to average temperatures in the 70s once again. Back to you Amy. All right thanks so much Marina. CBS News Los Angeles. Your local news streaming wherever, whenever.